let's go on a field trip with Katie's Classroom. Let's go to the eye doctor. Ooh. <laughs> hey friends, what do you think of these glasses? I like them. <laughs> Today, I'm at the eye doctor's. I have an appointment for an eye exam with my eye doctor, Dr. Teske. She's an optometrist. That's a special doctor that looks after our eyes. Did you know I need glasses to see far away? It's true. Dr. Teske made sure I could see properly using glasses, but there's lots of other important things that she looks for in my eyes to make sure I'm healthy. She has a lot of really neat equipment that helps her do her job too. I'll show you. You can come along with me while I get my eyes checked today. Oh, and I think I can see Dr. Teske coming right now. Hi, Dr. Teske. Hi, Katie. <laughs> friends, this is my eye doctor, Dr. Teske. Hello, friends. Is it okay if my friends come along while I get my eyes checked today? Absolutely, we have lots to share. Awesome. Let's get started with some measurements, follow me. Okay, let's go. You can have a seat, Katie. Watch yourself, it's on wheels. Okay. <laughs> so this instrument's gonna help me measure the length and the curve of your eye. Ooh, and when we do that, nothing is gonna touch my eye and I won't feel anything. That's correct. Okay. So if you just put your chin right there for me and bring your forehead right to the top. So if you keep looking straight ahead, we're gonna get your first eye. Oh, I can see a hot air balloon. Awesome. Just let your eyes relax. Okay and we'll take some measurements. Just going over to your other eye. Okay, I'm looking at the hot air balloon. Perfect, you're doing a great job, Katie. Mm -hmm. Awesome, you can sit back, we got it. You got it. Okay, okay, so what do the measurements tell you? So that instrument gives me the length and the curve of your eye, and that helps me tell if you need glasses. Okay, so I need glasses to see far away. What does that mean for the length of my eye? So that means your eye is longer or stronger than it should be. Oh, that's really interesting. And then I guess you can see how it changes every time I come. Exactly. Wow, that's really cool. Awesome. And if you think that was cool, wait till you see what the machine does behind you. Whoa, yeah, what does that one do? So that camera helps us take a picture of the inside of your eye. The inside? Wait, how do you get a picture of the inside of your eye. So we're shining the light through the surface of the eye that's clear through the black hole. And the black hole actually is the pupil. So then we can see what the back of the eye looks like. Oh, you can see through the pupil. Exactly. Um, and we try to keep the lights dim so that the pupil gets bigger and then we can get more light in. Oh, so that's why sometimes it's dark at the eye doctors. That makes the pupil bigger and you can see more. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Do you think um, we could see a picture of an eye? Absolutely. Let's go look at yours. Mine? Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So here's the picture of your eye, Katie. That's my eye? It sure is. Whoa. Doesn't really look like an eye. Well, that's the inside layer. That's the retina. There is your eyelid with some eyelashes on there. <laughs> And there's a freckle. That's a freckle? It sure is. Wow, I didn't know we could have freckles on our eyes. Absolutely, just like on your skin. Yeah. And we watch it for change in color, shape, and size. Wow, that's really neat. And this yellow spot is the optic nerve. So that brings the message to the brain. Oh, so our eyes are like messengers for our brain? Absolutely. Oh. And once the brain gets the message and processes the image, that's what you see. Wow. So it's really important for us to learn properly, we need to have a very clear image. Yeah, that would make sense. If things are all mixed up, it would be really hard to learn new things. Absolutely. Hmm. So there are ways that we can test that. Should we test my eyes? Absolutely. Okay. Let's have a turn. Let's see how they're doing. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do, Katie, is make sure that your eyes are focused. And the way that we do that, I can shine this light in your eye and you can just keep watching the letter B in the mirror. Okay, I see the letter B. 
So as I shine this light in there, I can tell whether or not you need glasses. Wow, excellent. And then we can determine whether or not your eyes are focused. So that's the first thing we need to do. We also need to make sure that your eye muscles are moving properly and smoothly. So my friend is going to help us do that. Okay. Can you watch my friend's eyes? Yeah. I'm going to move her around. Okay. So just follow her eye around. Try not to move your head. All right. Follow her wherever she may go. You got it. You're doing a great job, Katie. Well done. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Coming around the other side. Excellent. And she's going to come right to your nose. Ooh. Make your eyes cross. Hello. Perfect. <laughs> well done. You did a great job. That was fun. <laughs> so we know if your eyes are focused and we know that your eye muscles work. So now we're going to make sure that they work together. And we can do that with these special glasses. Ooh. Can you put those on for me, yeah. please? They kind of look like 3D glasses. That's right. They do. Huh. There's a special fly in this book, but it's not a real fly. Oh. Now, it may look like a fly. Okay? So don't be concerned. You tell me if you can see his wings. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's jumping out a little bit. Perfect. You can touch his wings? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Now, if you take your glasses <laughs> off... You'll see, it doesn't look the same, does it? Oh no, now it's just flat, like a picture. So because you can see that fly's wings popping up at you, then that tells me that your eyes are working well together. Wow, that's Excellent really interesting. Work. Well done. But what if my eyes couldn't do one of those things, then what? Then there's many things that we can do, like vision therapy, to help train the eyes to work together. And then rewire to the brain so that we know that the message gets to the brain to help you learn. Wow, that's really amazing. Awesome. We can do that. There's also glasses that will help keep your eyes focused if they're not focusing properly. Yes. That's what this machine is for. And this is just like the other machine. It won't touch my eye and I won't feel anything. Exactly. I'm just going to get really close to you. Okay. And there's two little holes for you to look through. Yeah, just like my glasses. How does that look? That looks pretty good. So this is what your old glasses look like. So if you keep watching that letter for me. Okay. And I cover up your left eye. Does that still look okay? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Awesome. And what do you think if I do this? Is that any better? Yeah, that is better. Excellent. So let's make sure the other eye is as clear. That's that pretty good. Very good. And if I change it, does that make it any better? Yeah, that's even better. Awesome. So if I put your two eyes together, that's wow. what your new glasses would look like, Katie. Wow. What I do you think? That's amazing. I didn't even realize that I was seeing things a little bit blurry. Awesome. Now it's so crisp. It is, That's for sure. That's great. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. So what are some other things that we can do to keep our eyes healthy? Oh, there's so many things. Really important to remember, especially with devices, the 20-20-20 rule. So every 20 minutes, you want to blink 20 times mm -hmm. and then look away 20 feet really far. Okay. so that your eyes don't get stuck. Yeah, my mom always said, don't sit too close to the television. Absolutely, she was right. Because <laughs> when we hold things really close, it makes your eyes work hard. Okay, so when we're looking close, look away, blink for 20 seconds. Exactly. It's also important to fuel your eyes just like the rest of your body with good nutrition. So green leafy vegetables are the most important for your eyes. Mm. So that's good. Um, also important to drink a lot of water. Um, keep your eyes hydrated and in the summertime to make sure that you protect your eyes in the outdoors with sunglasses. Yeah, wearing sunglasses. So if we do all those things, that'll help keep our eyes healthy. Absolutely. But there's one really important thing to remember. Always get your eyes checked regularly. Ah, like we did today. Exactly. <laughs> you did such a great job today, Katie. Oh, thanks so much for sharing all this information. I feel like we all really learned a lot. You are most welcome. You know, the eyes are the window to the world but they also can be a window to your health. Yeah, I never realized how amazing our eyes are and how much we can tell by getting our eyes checked. They certainly are amazing. Mm -hmm. So today you can celebrate. Would you like to take a sticker home with you? Yes, I'd love to. Love a sticker. There you go. <laughs> oh, look, it's an eye. <laughs> well, thanks so much. I guess I'll see you the next time I get my eyes checked. That sounds great. Okay. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Bye, friends. Wow, there's so much more about getting your eyes checked than just seeing if you need glasses, isn't there? And all those tests were pretty fun. <laughs>
I'm really glad I got my eyes checked today, and I'm so glad that all of you could come along with me. Take good care of your eyes, friends. There's a lot going on in there. And I'll see you again next time. Get it? See? I'll see you. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. See you soon. <laughs>